All right, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to talk to you. Oh, that was on me. Today I'm going to talk to you about macros. All right, so I just finished up my uh, having my pre-workout meal. I put up a, a video on my Instagram. It was it was like a video, and at the end it showed like the actual meal. It was. Um, oatmeal, cashew milk, and coffee with cottage cheese on top and blueberries. And I also put two cinnamon bun cookies on there, two cinnamon bun Oreos, because I woke up really craving some Oreos. I don't know why, don't ask me, but um, I haven't had Oreos in a long time. And, you know, I realized that a lot of people were asking, you know, how are you eating Oreos and you're dieting? And it's because, you know, I've, I've, um, I'm a, I do flexible dieting. It's called IIFYM. If it fits your macros, then you eat it. So basically, a lot of people don't understand the concept. So I decided I'm going to make a video and tell you guys what flexible dieting is. And you know, guys, part of dieting is, I mean, dieting is most most of the, like of the reason I lost the weight I had and I've gotten the physique I have because um, your nutrition is key. Like if you don't, if you're not eating right, then none, no matter how hard you train train in the gym, you're not gonna see the results you you really want. Like you're not gonna get you're not gonna get the cuts. You're not gonna get abs. You know you're not gonna lose a lot of fat if you're eating. Uh, McDonald's and Chick-fil-A every single day and not not caring how many calories you're eating you know because that's what I used to do I, I used to train to eat you know like I didn't tra I trained so I didn't gain weight but I still gained the weight you know so part of far part of flexible dieting is killing it in the gym but also your nutrition so uh, just now I just killed my workout and I'm about to go home and make uh, my usual shake. Uh, you know, the, uh, dieting is is basically calories in, cal calories out. That's how. That's what it all comes down to. As long as your the amount of calories you eat is less than, or the amount of calories you eat is less than the amount of calories you burn, then you're you're gonna lose. Uh, you're gonna lose fat. You're gonna lose weight. But it all comes down to eating the right amount of macros. So, say you are your goal is to eat 2,000 calories. If 50% of those calories come from fat, then you're it's you're gonna gain some fat. It's like it, it's it's a sticky situation. I'm about to go in and show you guys what I'm eating post workout. Uh, uh, yeah. So let's go in and see. Well, as you guys know, I carb cycle so it's not like I eat the same amount of macros every day so my coach gives me a certain amount of macros to eat on my low carb days and my high carb days so today's my high carb day I, f I feel like I always end up filming my high carb days just because that's, those are when I feel my best just because I get more food and I love food as I've said before so. I haven't worn these in a while. Fresh. <laughs> you say you wanted to be in the video. Let's go. So I posted my um, post-workout shake. It's green. A lot of people ask what's in it, so I'll show you. Um, I put some. I don't really like. I don't really eat a lot of vegetables during the day, so I put these in my shakes. So I make sure I get my fiber and my, you know, my greens. 
Um, so basically, I don't, I don't, this, normally, on my low carb days, I just put cashew milk, bananas, and some whey protein. Today, I'm adding two of these. Um, it's 14 grams of carbs each, no fat, so it fits fine, it fits perfectly. Um, yeah, so I, what I do is I track everything in my fitness pal. Get up nice and nice and personal. So my fitness pal is like the key to, to tracking macros. I, oh, a little close. If any of you have my fitness pal, if you unlock this and go sideways, it tells you how many carbs and how many macros you have for that meal. So for this meal, it's going to be 2 uh, I have my next meal in here, so I, I can't really say. This is around 70 grams of carbs and like 50 grams of protein, around there. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys. I'll show you guys basically what's in it, because this isn't like a cooking vlog but um yeah I'll show you guys bananas yogurt cashew milk protein and some kale so basic stuff is really good so I'll show you guys the end product That's crazy. Alright, so when you guys, if you guys uh, count your macros or start counting your macros, you'll start to find little cheats, you know? Like, you find food with like really good macros. So, like this one, this uh, cereal is called Puff Wheat. Like Quaker, you can get it, I think, like Wegmans. I got this at Wegmans. Um, or a Whole Foods, wherever. But this, for a cup and a quarter is only 11 grams of carbs and I'm about to show you how much that actually is. <laughs> okay, so one serving of what I just did was 15 grams. Oops. Okay, 15 grams. That is 15 grams. And that is only 11 grams of carbs right there. So, that is my post workout shake slash soup slash cereal slash ice cream. 14 grams of carbs, 1 gram of fat. Fits. Yeah guys, basically I just uh, showed you a few tricks, a few little hacks that I use to uh, track my macros. I 
Um, hope you, I hope I answered some of your guys' questions about, you know, what what are macros, how do you track macros, um, simple stuff like that. If you guys have any more questions, just um, message me on Instagram, uh, Snapchat. Uh, they're all in the description. So, yeah, if you guys have it, just let me know. Um, I'd love to answer any questions. I hope this video helped out, helped some of you out that are looking to track macros or looking to, you know, lose some weight. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am headed out. I will see you in the next video.